talk about a typical Christmas food from Venezuela called ayaca. I'm going to talk about what is ayaca, the ingredients, how to make it, the origin of the ayaca, and the importance of the ayaca. I would like to start by explaining what is ayaca. The ayaca consists of a bone or tamal made from corn flour and fill it with certain food. It's like the tamal is um, similar like a tamal in Mexico, but it's not the same. <coughs> um, let's look now the ingredients and how to make it. The ingredients are banana sheet, yellow corn flour, beef and chicken, olive, raisins, peppers, and onions. How to make it? First, uh, you take the banana sheet and then you put the yellow corn flour. You can see like this in the picture. And then you, you add the beef and chicken. Four steps, uh, you put the olive, raisin, peppers and onions. Fifth step, you wrap and tie in banana sheet with a rope, like this. And finally, you boil it in water. It's easy and not, not so easy. And this is the final aspect when it's cooked and ready to eat. Let's look now the origin of the yaga. Um, the origin of this this date back to the years of the Spanish colonization in 15th and 16th century. And attributing this, this invention uh, were, uh, to slaves and native Venezuela. That they take the food that the Spanish don't want anymore and uh, mix it with corn flour and they can eat uh, is is uh, food for for them. And why it's so important the that dish for Venezuelan people? Um, nowadays, May Ayaka is a family celebration because several days before Christmas, all call the family get together in one house and cook the ayaka all together, mother, father, children, everybody help to do this. And um, they can make 100, 200, 300 ayakas. Because uh, uh, the ayakas, uh, it, it's made consume around, um, around Christmas, only Christmas. It's like uh, we put in the in the freezer and it's like uh, fast food for us. Without the freezer, boil in the water, and we have ayacas. And the other thing that is important for us because it's like a gift. Uh, ayacas are often exchanged between different families and friends. For example, if Francisco is my friend and I made ayacas and he made ayacas, we change our food like uh, like a gift. So. It's but it's all what I have to say about that. And conclusion, well, ayaka is not only a dish. The ayaka means you know and sharing with the whole family. And it's a gesture of friendship, cordiality, and kindness. And I have a video if you want to see.